Hey guys, so I just wanted to make an update video for you guys and let you know what's going on. So, today I have received um, my credentials to be able to practice as a nurse in New York State. Well, according to New York State. And um, I'm excited because now I get to start working as a nurse. So, there's probably videos out there talking about what I'm about to talk about, but if not, um, I just want to bring this up to you. So, um, I was lucky enough to get my um, number within seven days from after I took my test. I thank God for that. Because every day I was looking like, yo, my name's not on the registration yet, but finally it popped up today. And sometimes it might take up to like two weeks or so, but... There's a but. So if you have a bad record and um, you did like stuff in the past, it can hinder you from getting your chance to get in your license number until you clear it up. Um, like I know some people that are nurses now, but it took them a minute to get their number only because something that happened in the past. And also, if you were messing with someone that had a record and you were a part of that um, situation, that could also stop your process of getting your license number. So I just want you guys to be well aware of that because it can stop the process of you getting your license. In a minute for you to become a nurse, like you already passed the test, but you can't practice as a nurse until you actually got that number it's like a six number um that you get like six digit number but i'm happy i got mine today but i just want to let you guys be well aware that like after you graduate you took your boards and you pass sometimes if you have something that happened in the past it can stop you from getting your license number until you get that cleared up um, I'm pretty sure you can look all over the place for videos that's talking about things that can stop you from getting your license number until you clear up the past. It's like a broken record, but I'm just trying to let that be known. Like, just make sure you have nothing in your past before you, um, get into this career. Just letting you guys know that. And also, um, another update about... Um, what I'm going to be doing with my license. That's another thing. Needed some water. So another update I wanted to tell you guys about is even when you get uh, your license number, there are so many opportunities out there. It's like you think you know what you want to do. Until you get that license, and you're like, yo, I really don't know what I want to do with my license. I don't. But for the most part, I'm going to stay in my department. Because like I told you guys before in the other video, I work in psych. So I'm going to be a psych nurse until, I don't know, until whatever God leads me to. That's what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm going to stay in psych to get my experience up. And psych is more like med surge. So that's a good thing even though I'm able to shadow in other parts of the hospital I'm going to stay in my unit until further notice um but I'm telling you right now like there's so many job openings and so many specialties that you can work you don't know because when you get that license you're gonna be like oh my gosh now what I do I don't think people really talk about that much, but when you get it, it's like the ticket's in your hand, but where are you going to insert this ticket? <laughs> so just be mindful of that. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up was, um, what else I wanted to bring up to you guys? It was like the top of my head. I should have written this on paper, so I had this in order. Um, oh yeah, so... My next part of my journey, I'm going to start um, just giving you guys some things I'll be doing um, as a LPN now. So that will be 
more videos to come when my journey starts to extend more and more. Just want to let you guys know that. But have a good night, and I will talk to you in my next video. Peace.